Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has hailed the upcoming G20 summit in New Delhi as a huge landmark, saying India made the G20 more inclusive during its presidency. Our principal diplomatic correspondent Sidhan Sibol spoke to EU's trade commissioner on the ongoing India-EU free trade agreement negotiations. Watch. Any update on the India-EU FTA? This is something that has been part of conversation, one of the key things when it comes to India-EU relationship as well. Uh, well, uh, indeed, I'm using this uh, 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 visit also to have uh, bilateral discussions, so uh, including on uh, progress we are making on uh, free trade agreement, uh, investment protection agreement. Uh, we are very in, uh, intensively engaged. We had had uh, five negotiating rounds uh, uh, so far. Uh, and uh, there is a willingness of both sides to continue with this uh, good uh, pace to to achieve agreement as soon as uh, possible. There is still, uh, however, lots of ground to uh, cover, uh, also in terms of uh, uh, scope of the agreement, uh, because from the EU uh, we are aiming for what we call deep and uh, comprehensive free trade agreement, uh, uh, which covers not only traditional you know, tariff questions, but also uh, other uh, questions, including on sustainable development, to uh, avoid a situation where trade is uh, causing harm for environment or leads to lower uh, labor standards. So we'll need to discuss uh, how uh, to properly uh, address all those topics. Mm -hmm. uh, any deadline when it comes to FTA? I know when it comes to FTA talks, these aren't easy conversations. We have had an experience of past as well. So uh, any deadline you're looking at? Well, as we are saying in the EU, it's uh, substance over deadlines. Uh, so uh, we are willing to engage intensively and continue to work at a good pace. But at the end of the day, we need to get uh, substance right to be able to conclude. You are going to hold conversation with your counterpart on um, trade and investment, the dialogue on trade and investment later today. Uh, so what will be the key focus areas which you are going to talk about? Uh, well, uh, uh, there are a number of areas uh, which uh, we need uh, to cover. Obviously, we'll take stock on progress of our FTA negotiations, uh, but we'll also uh, be uh, discussing uh, state of play of our, our existing trade and investment relations, uh, uh, trade irritants, what can be done to remove them, what can be done uh, to uh, facilitate trade, also in a uh, current uh, context uh, before we have an FTA. Mm -hmm. And what irritants, if you can just elaborate on that, uh, an additional question to your, my last question. Uh, well, uh, uh, I, I think there are a number of topics uh, which are well known from both uh, sides, uh, which uh, we need to discuss. Maybe I'll not now go into uh, detail, as I'll be uh, raising it uh, directly <laughs> with my uh, uh, counterparts. Uh, I would say, uh, well, that's a fact. When you have intensive trade relations between uh, countries, uh, regions, there are inevitably some uh, issues which are emerging. So what is important is uh, not that there are uh, issues, but that there is a willingness to resolve those issues from the both sides and that there are dialogue uh, to do so. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.